What's up, Mentorship Group? It's Steve with the Daily Dose of the Mentorship Motivator with some daily motivation, dropping some daily bombs. Today we're talking about forms of communication, specifically not spoken, not words, not just yapping, not just babbling, but we're talking about tonality and body language specifically. Did you know that, and the statistics are, of course, whatever, arbitrary and whatever, all statistics are within a range, but do you know that 10% of communicate of all communications so right 100% of the communication that you give out to other people or that humans in general give out only 10% is in the words that they say 45% is in their tonality the way they're saying the words and 45% is in their body language now that's not the order of importance that's not saying the words you say are only 10% of the importance it's just saying the quantity quantity of the communication that you give out is only 10% in the words you say 45% in your tone of your voice about the way you're saying the words you're saying is more powerful than what you're saying. And 45% is in your body language. And the thing is, most people, and we're all guilty of it, we only think of or focus or pay attention to the words coming out of someone's mouth. That's it. The word of the words being spoken. That's all we talk about. That's all we hear and pay attention to and freaking listen to sometimes. So how you're talking how you're moving, how you're looking, how you're standing, your your posture is your head up, your chest out, your shoulders are back and down. The volume of your words, the speed of your words, the tone of your words, obviously, all are a huge factor and even more important than what you're saying. So you could be selling someone your product, your services, a client, you know, to a prospect. You should be sitting tall, making eye contact with them. You know, not looking away all the time, not fiddling with your phone, not ruffling a bunch of papers, not nervous, not twitching, not fumbling around with your hands, food and whatever, but that's just your fidgeting or whatever else. That's your body language. That's 45% of the communication that you're giving to them. And they're looking at you. And listen, we're fucking machines. Humans internally are machines. So whether they even pick up on this stuff consciously, subcon their subconscious is picking up on that stuff and it's registering it into their, their memory and into their bank their brain bank, but also their bank account, because when it comes time to sign the deal, they're gonna be like, there's just something off or something shady about that person. They're just twitching, they're nervous, they weren't. Lost connection there for a second. I don't know if it's like two degrees outside, the phone's overheating because it was next to the, the defroster in the freaking car. So now I'm holding you out of the window to let this phone cool. It looks like it heated, or it's overheating. So anyway, we we're talking about tonality, body language, right? And Get it, that, that body language, that tonality, that's what they're, they're noticing and registering it, whether they even know it or not. Subconsciously, you're, the amount of information that your brain can take in without you even knowing it is, is ridiculous. It's like off the wall. Even the way you're shaking their hand, the firmness you're shaking in the hand, did you try to crush it? Did you hold it like a little, a little fairy grip or some shit? And... How did your tonality change throughout the workout? When you're greeting them, it should be one way, like your two friends just getting to know each other, talking in a bar. When you're digging for their pain, it should be more empathetic. When you're when you're giving them the plan and the solution, you should be having more sound of hope. And when you're presenting your price and presenting that, you know, the close, the price presentation, actually going for the close should be with complete confidence. And that tonality should change, and that's huge in getting that that point across. Think about it. If I told you, hey, you 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 just you won a lottery. You won a lottery for ten million dollars, and you could just go pick it up today. If I told you you won a lottery like that, you wouldn't you would ignore me. You th think I'm bullshitting? You think it's fake? But just because of the tone. So the words coming out of my mouth didn't matter. It's the tonality that comes out. Or if I'm selling you, I'm trying to move this this phone around. All right, I'm sitting here selling you. It's kind of hard because I have this big ass fucking winter coat on because they're freezing over here but if i'm sitting here in a chair leaning like this and i'm trying to sell you and i'm leaning back and i'm slouched over i'm like yeah it's really a great even if i say yeah it's really a great product you're gonna really love it you're gonna get great results out of it you're gonna you're gonna get in the best shape of your life and it's gonna be awesome you know we're gonna take great care of you and i'm looking at my watch and and i'm fiddling around picking my fucking teeth and all this other stuff so now even though my tone was good. If my body language is off, I'm slouching and not really giving you that type of communication. It does. You're, you're losing 45% of the communication from the body language. So 10% is in the words you're saying. 
45% in your tonality, 45% in your body language. So imagine if your tonality and your body language are not in sync with the words that you're saying. You lost, you lost it. You lost 90%. You're missing on 90% of the communication you have, which means you're pretty much not going to close any freaking deals at all. At all. Because your th- your brain is working nonstop. Nonstop. Mostly subconscious. Some consciously, but it's just subconsciously soaking all that stuff in. Everything your brain ever experiences is logged in there. And every interaction they have with you, they're going to remember this communication. Basically, what feeling did they get from you? just being around you what vibe did you give off them that all comes from the communication you determine how they feel about you how they think about you and whether or not you close the freaking deal with them on how you're acting how you're moving how you're talking the the tone of your voice you're slouching and you're not talking with confidence when you're giving a price if you're if you're telling them so even if your body language is good right you're you're upright you're standing tall and you're proud and you're even leaning into them tell them about the price and you're like uh, it costs two, two, you could you choose either 267 a month for for training or you know or you could do 217 for for 12 months if you want if you want to do that I know it's kind of a long time and whatever if you want to do it if not then you you could just do month to month doesn't matter even if my body language is good just the tone of my voice lack of confidence they're gonna be like there is just something off about this motherfucker i am not buying nothing from them i don't care they're gonna be it's gonna make you them lose trust in you the second they lose trust in you the sale is off the, it's off the table there's no chance of even closing the deal because we know they need to have trust and certainty and belief in you in the product or service and the company any one of those is missing they're done they're gone And it's going to be all in your communication with them. Communication is like huge when it comes to it. doesn't matter what you're saying. It matters how you say it and how they see you acting while you're saying it. So keep that in mind. Every interaction you have, and this is not just in closing deal. This is in life in general. Every, Every interaction you have, any contact you have with humans or mere mortals, you need to be thinking about your tonality and your body language. The words coming out of your mouth are the least important or they're not the least important. They're the least form of communication that you use. Don't get me wrong. The words themselves are important. Don't be saying stupid shit. They are important, but that's just not how we communicate. The actual percentage of the actual communication is done in other forms than just words. Don't forget it. I will talk to you later. This is Mentorship Motivator. No excuses.